Hello guys, I have DSM Manual 5 with me and uh, welcome to a new video. We are going to discuss what is a borderline personality disorder as per this book, as per the traits defined in this book and uh, we'll just go through it. If you are watching and you feel you have borderline personality disorder, do consult a psychologist, do verify the videos, do check all the videos which are available freely in YouTube, do check the manuals as well. If you are suffering from BPD, I have full sympathy for you of the things which are going through. Please do not feel triggered and if there is any confusion, you can always comment on the videos and maybe we'll get a reply for that. So, diagnostic criteria is 301.83, F60.3. So, it's a pervasive pattern. BPD marks with an instability in the interpersonal relationships in the early adulthood. That means around 15 to 16 uh, uh, is the age, 14, 15, 16, the person will showcase the traits of BPD and uh, most of it could be uh, why BPD why a person has BPD I'll say at the last of the video but the diagnostic says that it begins at this early adulthood 14, 15, 16 you'll get to see that in your girl maybe in your boy as well so frantic effort to avoid real or imagined abandonment so what, what does this mean? It means like the person who has an imaginary friend an imaginary friend uh, imaginary teddy bear imaginary anything or a real person a real friend so if there is any abandonment the person will show frantic efforts to get back to the person to just make up to the relationship or any friendship they will just do anything to any extent to get back to that situation unstable and intense interpersonal relationships the relationships will be very quick very fast and with all the emotions all the planning everything marriage engagement and all those things discussed and this will be a very common trait that is it, it, it starts with idealization and devaluation so at the beginning it's all good very good and then it's gonna be really really drop fall the BPD person is gonna drop you from the sky and you're gonna explode in that explosion identity disturbance marked with unstable self-image they do not have their self it's empty the core is empty somebody needs to fill up their core they need multiple friends they need more friends so that they can engage with them they can find themselves in them through them they, they want to process their emotions they want somebody to help them in channeling of those ideas and everything else impulsivity in two areas these are the areas which they show high impulsivity that is spending shopping imp immense money spent in shopping sex abuse driving binge eating uh, suicidal behaviors, gestures or threats that I'm gonna kill myself, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna wrist, or slit my wrist, I'm gonna do multiple things, I'm gonna jump from here and there. Self-mutilating behavior is also there, uh, which is initially they will hide that area and then maybe show it to gain some empathy or some other reasons. Instability due to marked reactivity of mood because they have intense emotions, they will have higher highs and lower lows the lower lows will be like taking them down to the uh, to hell because they will be very low and it will last various uh, to few hours and few days also chronic feeling of emptiness this is very very common in somebody who's a bpd can be uh, rationalized with people who are non bpd as well that's why it's been said that among these points it should be five or more if five or more has been selected, then only you will be classified as a BPD, not just one. So yeah, chronic feeling of emptiness, I'm not highlighting because it's common. Appropriate, inappropriate, intense anger, controlling anger. They will have a controlling attitude, intense anger, temper tantrum, constant anger, and physical fights. So very common in BPD. Stress-related paranoid ideation. They will have several thoughts in their mind that somebody is a threat to them and uh, day, some day later it won't be there. Just going through explanation of criterion one. Perception of impending separation, rejection. They have the sense that somebody is going to leave them. So they perceive those threats, whether it's true or not, that perceived abandonment fears creates rage in them. The BPD rage, the inappropriate rage. And it can come this situation of, this is a perception that somebody is going to leave them as they are just now with them. Tomorrow they, they are not there. So they will perceive the person left them already because of past trauma that's why they will uh, show this rage to them they are bad abandonment implies they are bad that's the core belief that if somebody leaves you you are bad so the fears are related to intolerance of being alone and need to have other people with them 
that's why they cannot stay alone they want other people to be with them so they don't they do not feel lonely that's why they have frantic efforts to avoid abandonment so individuals have unstable and intense relationships it will be very nice in the beginning and then later on it will be such a downfall all the time every time uh, they will switch from idealization to devalue them and uh, the person will be there in return to meet their own needs or demands it's all about themselves their needs their wishes their supply their sources have to be fulfilled if no then you will have to face the devaluations so these are prone to sudden and dramatic shift in their view of others sometime five minutes later it will be all good you were the nicest person beautiful person and before those five minutes you were the worst enemy the shittiest of the person you have ever seen that shift occurs very commonly and it's bizarre but yeah this is this is the truth identity disturbance marked and persistently unstable self image and self they do not have the self it's blank so that's why they have a disturbance with their identity they need a supplicant for help to that of a righteous avenger to for past mistreatment that's why they change uh, their role sometimes the role of the person is very nice sometimes it will be very bad because in the past the person has treated them badly so that switch is going to be there always uh lack of meaningful relationships nurturing and support and usually such individuals show worse performance in unstructured work or school institutions if the work is structured come at this time do at do these tasks and leave at this time awesome but if the work is unstructured it do these skills somebody is in it who is a bpd some girl who is a uh, is working in an office with higher amount of technical things and uh, ever changing documentations ever changing code they will leave they will leave the job in one year or two year if the job is unstructured the bpd person is going to leave the job that's why we see people who have uh, such people leave the jobs within interval of two years one year two years they will quit same thing with the relationships as well it might not show the person will have eight years or nine years of relationships on the papers on the physical but person might be cheating as well at the back which nobody knows or maybe they know and they excuse and they let the person go by self damaging binge eating unsafe sexual intercourses self mutilating suicidal threats is also there which is actually 8 to 9% but usually this is uh, been uh, uh, too common but it is still there usually if the person is narcissist and borderline as well then they will not try to kill themselves up they will try they'll just give a threat and if the person is core bpd then chances of this is also there a percentage will be more it won't be 8 to 10% it will be more i think it's not going to be less uh they display affective instability due to their reactive moods they have intense mood it might be confused with bipolar as well due to their mood disorder and that basic dyspropic mood moods or bpd is anger panic despair it will be there it will just come how this mood will change it will just change it will change things are going flat it will change thoughts will come in the brain it will change the mood perceived thought will come it will change the mood if there's comorbidity with adhd it's going to be a havoc it's going to be a havoc to live but that's it that's how it is extreme reactivity to interpersonal stresses yeah if there is any stress related to work situation person is going to show these signs of anger panic and despair easily bored somebody who is easily bored and constantly seek something to do force seeking or doing something in a parade uh, appropriate intense anger of having difficulty to control the anger extreme sarcasm very 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 weird jokes very weird jokes extreme and uh, enduring shit enduring the bitterness some people with bpd who have worked very 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 hard for their job they'll endure all the stress and everything in a verbal outburst because they want to they want to feel that pain they want to feel the pain because they think while enduring that pain they will become a better and a good person so whom they raise the anger on if they are angry they will uh, throw their anger to anybody who is nearby them 
anybody who is nearby the BPD is the result of their anger, of their rage. Anybody who is being uh, nice or bad, doesn't matter. Neglectful, withholding, caring, abandoning. And then they will also have shame and guilt. It's not that they want to do something and they don't feel it. No, they do feel what they do. They do feel that they have hurt the person. It gives them pleasure as well to hurt the person because they eventually were hurt at the first place. But they do feel shame and guilt that they also did the same thing to them. So they are not uh, like they don't care. I mean, they don't care about it, but they do feel that, yes, they know it. Caring about it is a, is a separate thing which they do not care at all. Yes, they do not care at all. Associated features supporting diagnostics. So, uh, yeah. Undermining themselves at the moment a goal is about to be realized. Something which is about to be finished. A relationship which is going good. They will destroy it. They will destroy the good relationship which is going good while the signs are clear that it's going to last forever. They will destroy that. Dropping out of school just before graduation. They will do that. Regressing severely after a discussion of how well therapy goes. Anything which is going good. Just at the last moment, they will try to get rid of it. Their mood disorder will kick in. Their abandonment crisis will kick in. They feel more secure with transient objects. A pet. A dog. A toy. A teddy bear toy. Some boyfriends give, gift their girlfriends a giant teddy bear. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> they do give them a giant teddy bear. Unknowingly, why she wants a teddy bear? Because it's a transactional object. Then interpersonal relationships. So, yeah, premature death and physical handicap also results, some chances. Interrupted education, separation of divorce, physical and sexual abuse, neglect, hostile conflict, early parental loss, early parental, witnessing parental abuse, witnessing uh, inability of the father to play an important role in raising the child, giving all the love, all the supply to the daughter on the early ages is very very important very very difficult that's also one reason it's been said the prevalence is 1.6 percent but i'm not believing on this data it's wrong it's an old data i don't think it's correct the prevalence is very very high it is not low we just don't know so yeah this is not the latest data but yeah let's let's give it a five percent more make it ten percent but that could be also wrong so we just don't have to worry about the data uh, if it is correct or not in this book manual. Development and course. So chronic instability in early adulthood, risk of suicide, intense emotions, impulsivity and intensity. It's often lifelong. So all these emotions will stay with the BPD person. It's not going to go away. And during their 30s and 40s, some people marry late. You know, it's been said that some people don't marry early. They marry late. Even in their uh, date of birth documentation, which a uh, lot of Indians have, it's been said that that person is going to marry late. There are also some corrections related to that thing. That In the 30s and 40s, the mind becomes more stable. The prefrontal cortex is more well established. So chances of having a stable relationship increases. The fight is still going to be there. But because impulsivity and emotions and intensity will be there. But having the majority of uh, ordered relationship is greater stability happens. Vocational uh, functioning also happens at that stage. Very commonly, you can see some people marry late. Works well. Some people marry early and it's a huge destruction. The risk and prognostic factors. Genetic. Yes, I have seen that BPD is about five times more common in first degree biological relatives. If your mother has BPD, chances are you will have a BPD as well. Yes, if in your family tree, if in your first, first uh, degree uh, biological relatives, your mother, father, your uh, siblings and... Uh, paternal and maternal uh, relatives as well if they have borderline personality disorder you will chances of your offsprings having it is gonna increase so all that parental and everything you will put into the child but it will still be like BPD that's it that that is there so many rich people out there with generational worth wealth have this have their uh, kids suffering from BPD just because they're past siblings of first degree biological relatives were BPD. So it is a genetic disorder. <clears throat> cultures also has some, several cultures have identity problems which could provoke this. 
I'm not going to go into the gender, but see the part is BPD is diagnosed predominantly about 75% in females. That's a proof. So I would say that all the females uh, having ch having a BPD boy is like slight chances of BPD boy. But in these in these ages, in this generation, you find most of the girls having BPD. That's what has been mentioned here. Uh, differential diagnosis is about how this disorder can be confused with others, mimicking of other disorders. But uh, most of the, uh, there is a histronic personality disorder which can be uh, categorized by somebody who seeks so much attention. So if an individual has personality disorder that meets criteria for one or more personality disorders in addition to borderline personality disorders, all can be diagnosed. There can be comorbidity of person having borderline personality disorder with narcissistic personality disorder or a histronic personality disorder could be could be there but the core bpd criteria will remain the same and uh, somebody who has a histronic personality disorder will be attention seeking so if your girl is seeking attention from a lot of boys and girls she wants the attention she wants to be the centerpiece of the group she wants to have that leadership or whatever you will call it manipulative behavior speaking lies changing the course of action, manipulating things, rapidly shifting emotions of higher highs to lower lows, angry and self-destructive. So this is histronic, but yeah, but borderline will usually display the self-destructive, angry and uh, disruptions in close relationships with deep emptiness and loneliness. There is also paranoid, disorder, paranoid personality disorder and narcissistic personality disorder, which is characterized by being angry even to a minor stimuli and these are all comorbidities somebody with BPD can have multiple disorders with them also some traits will be there manipulative behavior gain profit and power it is going to be there so in the end this is about BPD this is how to identify BPD for cure there is no such cure there is no medicine there is no vaccine uh, therapy is the only cure it takes about 10 years maybe more dialectic behavior therapy and uh, I don't know that are there people there who actually go for therapy I don't think so I don't think that any Indian over here has literally heard of a borderline personality disorder I mean all these traits which I am discussing people have seen there in their family but nobody knows it's a borderline personality disorder this book has been written long back but nobody is talking about it nobody is discussing the personal mental disorders why because this will result in breakage, awareness, current breakage of relationships and awareness as well. And uh, there is no such solution of it. Therapy is the only solution, but that also is like nothing. Such people are not able to maintain a relationship, so it's going to break. It's very chaotic. And I hope there is an update to this video as well. Do mention in the comments if you have any questions or anything and uh, subscribe to my channel. Bye-bye.